that took out gang, all the mechanics and mechanics of materials, so we'll solve this problem. So we're trying to find the angle of twist, right? We're in chapter five. So we're given this 50 diameter steel shaft with these three torque loadings on it, right? So there's one at A, one at D, and one at C. We're given some distances and some loadings. So we're gonna be using the angle of twist formula, TL over JG. Um, so we're gonna add all those up for each of these segments, AD, CD, and BC. So we need to find the torque, internal torque in each one of those segments. We're given the length of each one of those segments. We're gonna need to find the polar moment of inertia, and we're given G for this A992 steel shaft is 75 GPA. So let's find the torque for each one of these. So let's start with the one at the end, right? You wanna start with the A and AB in this case. So when you're finding torque, uh, you're gonna to wanna to take a cut, kind of. Like imagine you're taking a cut, like you're trying to find shear diagrams or whatever. We're gonna take a cut in between A and D, and we're gonna start our way at the end. So we see this 800 newton meter force, and we see that it's going clockwise. So we're gonna put a negative on that one. So it's gonna be negative 800 newton meters. It's just what we're gonna counteract that one. So let's make this negative 800. Now we're gonna find torque in the middle rod, CD. So we're gonna take a cut again in CD and work way inward. So we have this 800 newton meter force and then this 200 newton meter force. So they're going the same direction. They're both going clockwise. So we need to add those together to get negative 1,000. So then finally, we're back to BC. So we're just all the way at the end here. So we have this 800, or negative 800 minus 200, so we're negative 1,000. But then this 400 is going in opposition. So we need to add a 400 to that to get that tension and BC is equal to negative 600. So now we see that the tension in each one of these segments is the same side, so none of them are gonna be counteracting each other. So now we need to find the polar moment of inertia. Let's do that over here. So for a solid shear step, it's gonna be pi over two radius to the fourth. So we can just go ahead and do pi over two. Let's plug it in in the right units, so it's gonna be zero, we need to zero, and then radius is half of diameter, two five to the fourth. Do this, you get J, this equal to six one three six, or six point one three six, times 10 to the negative seven meters. So now we have everything we need to solve this problem. So again, we're gonna be adding out TL over JG for each one of the three segments. So what we wanna to do first is to factor out everything that's gonna be the same. So the lengths are different for each one of these, so we can't factor that out. The torque is different for each one of these, but the polar moment of inertia is gonna be the same for each one of them because they're the same diameter, and the G is gonna be the same because they're the same uh, material. So let's factor out that JG. So let's do 6.136 times 10 to the negative seventh, and then G, 75 times 10 to the ninth. So we factored that out. So then let's start adding them up. So T, L, so let's start with AD. I mean, negative 800 newton meters times its length, six, or 600 millimeters, so it's 0.6 meters. Then the next one, negative 1,000 times its length, 0.6. And then the next one, negative 600 times its length, 0.3. Okay, so let me try and do this. Make sure I did that right. Yes, sir. I'm skewed. So then you're gonna get that, that curvature is negative 0.0274. But this is in radians, so if you want to convert from radians to degrees, we're going to need to multiply by 180 over pi, because 180 degrees is equal to pi radians. So if you do that, you get this as negative 1.57 degrees. And there we go. So that's our angle of curvature, uh, our angle of twist of A. So that's how you solve this problem. Not too tricky, but make sure you do the torque correction, or torque calculations correctly. So if you have any trouble, check out my playlist. I got a whole series on this. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for your support. Peace.